Hey everyone, welcome to NEW. My name is Victor Atlasman, Director and Lead Engineer of Charging Ecosystems and Energy Storage Solutions, and I'm here to talk about Charge Day. We know different vehicles require different amounts of power levels, different voltages, um, and especially some vehicles require preconditioning. Similar to how vehicles have MPGs, electric ve or fuel vehicles have MPGs, electric vehicles have MPGEs. Same thing goes for charging power. Just because a vehicle says it's rated for 200 kilowatts doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get 200 kilowatts. There's certain conditions that that has to happen for. For example, low state of charge, under 10, 20% state of charge for you to experience that. Also preconditioning, is the battery the right temperature? Well, how do you know all this information? You have to know details of the car. And sometimes car companies don't report that information to you. Um, so you have to rely and hope that the infrastructure that you're, you're hooked up to can support that. For example, if your vehicle does take 200 kilowatts, you don't want to plug in on a 50 kilowatt station. You're going to be there four times longer than you have to. So how are consumers supposed to know this? There's no transparency. We're here to change that. As I mentioned earlier, zero to 100% in another 15 minutes, and you get the full performance. That's a 5C rate. What does that mean? A 30 kilowatt hour battery pack, in our particular instance, would charge 150 kilowatts continuously. It doesn't matter if you start at 10% or 90%. 90% it means you just get there faster, unlike other batteries that aren't able to achieve that at the higher state of charge. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. 